I wanted to introduce you to my little friend, Cosmos SDK. Just breaking down what Cosmos SDK means, this is, first of all, in the Cosmos network. Cosmos being the ecosystem of interconnected blockchains. And you know they're hip because they have this super glowy orange and purple website. The SDK part of the name means Software Development Kit. Here's a simple way to understand it. If Cosmos SDK was around when Bitcoin and Ethereum were being built, they would have used Cosmos SDK. I mean, I guess I don't know, but it's a good guess. What can Cosmos SDK do for me? In short, a developer plus Cosmos SDK equals a new blockchain. Cosmos SDK is built with Go or Golang, which is the programming language. And it's a very active project. In fact, if you look at their test coverage, but the test coverage is going up and not down. That means that they're putting tests on important functions of their code, and that's actually growing in proportion to the code that's not tested. That means that they actually care about quality. They're keeping an eye on it. You might be asking yourself, why build a new blockchain if there are so many already? And I think the answer is because the world doesn't have your blockchain. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about the casino nature of crypto and staking and ups and downs of ICOs. I'm talking about the distributed state machine that is blockchain. I'm talking about the likes of Bitcoin. I mean, what a crazy technology. It came out of mystery and you can send a billion dollars over the border with just a password. The power of Bitcoin has inspired billions of dollars of investment and created a lot of energy in the blockchain space and of course Ethereum too. But Bitcoin is not very good for building blockchain applications on top of. That's where Cosmos SDK comes in. Here are some projects built on top of Cosmos using the Cosmos SDK. Some are DEXs, some are games, some are social impact. In 2017, you had Jay Kwan and Ethan Buckman uh, they had a vision for making blockchain building more accessible to folks like myself. They raised $17 million with an ICO type of ICO. It wasn't a pure ICO. In 30 minutes, they had a, they shut it down after that because they reached their limit and they didn't need more money. There's something honorable in that, and I'm attracted to that vision. Rather than making a new Bitcoin, they created a construction set. It's really more of a Lego set that you can make your own blockchain with. And it worked, big time. Have you heard of Juno? Have you heard of Terra? Terra and Juno both built on Cosmos SDK. But just because Terra had some very bad business logic in it. Doesn't mean that it was the fault of Cosmos SDK. It's kind of like blaming graffiti on spray paint. But as you can see here, it's still a very serious project because as of today, it's still $29 billion in total volume locked. Another one, the secret network, SCRT. They just raised $400 million with institutional investors. They have some serious dreams to create a privacy first blockchain. What it means is that even though you're gonna have public information, it's going to be encrypted and unlockable by only the people that you would want to unlock it. So why did Terra Juno Secret Network, Binance. Why did they choose Cosmos SDK instead of doing something else? Let's 
go through that a little bit by understanding what their options were. The first thing that comes to mind is forking Bitcoin or Litecoin or one of the derivatives. But forking code, specifically Bitcoin, is very complex. If you change one tiny thing, it could have far reaching effects somewhere else in the code. It's that that would be a lot of work. Also, you can't really run an application on Bitcoin. The application layer is locked in. It's joined in with all the other layers, the consensus, the network layer. The code is C++ and generally C++ is really complex to work with. Really, Bitcoin is best at just being Bitcoin. Why would you try to rewrite the matrix or the Bible or the Quran? It's just, it, it's good at being what it is. It's much better at being a currency and not a platform. Another option that they were certainly considering would have been writing distributed apps or dApps on Ethereum. Uh, a lot of people go this route. They've already separated the consensus and networking layer from the application layer, which is really helpful. One of the downsides I think of going that route is you think of scripts and smart contracts as something that you do to control a little bit of business not logic and not write a whole application inside of. And there's like a lot of leverage that's been misused with contracts. Uh, have you ever seen Rect News? Um, there's a whole lot of code mistakes and security holes that are exposed on this news site. And certainly a part of these are smart contracts. And I'm not saying that you can completely avoid that with Cosmos, but if you have a more robust framework and engineering behind your contracts, you're going to see less of these mistakes. These are so crazy. I mean, can you imagine being the developer that locks up $30 million? It's like you replace the tilde with an apostrophe. Everything blows up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Contracts, BAPs, are a really great way to experiment quickly, easily. You generally need like under a thousand lines of code and you've made something that people want. But if you take a look at the modules that Cosmos SDK has, Auth, Bank, Crisis, Epoching, ep ep Epoching, Epoching, <laughs> Governance, uh, Mint, Slashing, Staking, all those have been tested by Juno, Terra, these big networks, and they've already troubleshot that code and improved it, and you're standing on that, rather than trying to rewrite that logic inside of contract. I don't know, it's kind of like Ethereum is like living in a gated community and Cosmos is like building your own city. They call themselves the Internet of Blockchains, which is a little confusing. I like the next one the heart of interchain. See, they're a network of blockchains and anyone can add to it without permission. So a third way that they certainly would have considered is using something like Polkadot and Avalanche. Now these are some really popular tools and I think they're really great to use, but still Cosmos has something a little bit different, which is sovereignty and interconnection. So while Polkadot and Avalanche are all interconnected, everything on the chain is able to talk to each other, Cosmos is a bit different. They start with sovereignty, meaning when they take down Luna because it's in hyperinflation, it doesn't affect your blockchain. You are completely separate. You can run on your own, yet interact with all the other blockchains. Given this, Cosmos was a natural choice for them. It wants you to build with it. It was designed to build with. It wants you to define the evolution of their network. If you're a developer, you get started with Ignite. 
and you can spin up a vanilla blockchain in minutes. Actually, let's just do that. Let's just do it. After installing Ignite, we run one command to scaffold our blockchain, but let's put in something more uh, appropriate here. Uh, test, okay. Okay, the code has been created for us. It's ready to boot up and serve. And let's configure real quick. Okay, so Alice and Bob are set to get 2,000 tokens. And of course, we could put whatever numbers we want in here. This is how easy it is to create your stake and your token amounts. We're going to ignite, chain, serve. Okay, so I just spun up a blockchain. This is a vanilla blockchain. And, and you're up. You're going. You can mint your coins, set the rules for governance, staking, slashing, distribution, uh, all of it. You can also join their free academy. They're trying to train, I think it was 5,000 developers in three years. So the vision is there. You have to pass a development test and then you're in. If you're not a developer, and you still want to build on Cosmos SDK. You can find developers on Upwork.com. Um, that's where I found a little bit of work. And you can also join the Cosmos Discord channel. There are so many projects being built on Cosmos SDK, it's shocking. Maybe it's time to build your project. Thank you for watching, and hopefully we can make the blockchain a little bit better together.